Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new here. Today I'm gonna show you my corset collection and if you've been here for a while you know I always did a video like this but it was quite a while ago and I have a lot of new things so I thought it was already time for an update on that video because I have so many things I know you're gonna love. But before that I want to talk about an app that I've been using a lot lately it's called InView and I live in the rock and I know what this is, but if you don't, it's the world's largest social metaverse, which is like a social network. But instead of using your own photos, you get to pick an avatar that you can customize to look like you, or you can make it look like the ideal version of you, which is basically what I did. And in view, you can join chat rooms, you can go shopping, you can talk to friends, but my favorite thing is that you get to customize your avatar and this is what I made mine look like. You know, it's the perfect vampy outfit and I think this calls for a change. Much better, right? Wait, let me show you. We're almost perfectly matching, right? I love that look. When I saw it, I immediately thought of this outfit, which is one of my favorites. And I thought it matched my vampire vibe very well, because you can choose your custom rooms as well. I picked this vampire castle. There are so many different vampire castles. It took me a while to pick the perfect one, but I'm in love with this one, and don't get me wrong, I really like the pastel vibe going on in my room, but if I had all the money in the world, this is where I would live. If you like what you're seeing, you can download Envy for free, find me in the app at Vesmedinia, and follow me. Thank you so much to Envy for sponsoring this video, and now let's go back to corsets, which is why we're here. So, I'm gonna start with this one. I know this is not a real corset, don't let it disappoint you. Everything else is gonna be a real, real corset. But since I was wearing this already, and I think this is more like a special mention, I wanted to go through it. Quickly. This one is from Widow. I got it quite a few years ago and let me tell you, for a fashion item, the quality is amazing. It is super sturdy because it's lined with satin and then it has this thick brocade on top. And even though I believe the bones are plastic, this one is almost, almost, almost like a corset. It's really short, as you can probably tell. It fences at my waist. It's perfect for me. Their size excess is just as if it was made to measure. And this is what it looks like on the back. You can tie it here and let me tell you, it reduces your waist if you pull it a little bit. You can tie it almost as much as you want because it allows for that. It reduces your waist a little bit if you wanted to. And it's super comfortable because for me it ends at my waist and it gives me the perfect shape without the hassle of having to wear a real corset that, you know, it's more uncomfortable if you have to eat or go to the toilet and all that. Even if this isn't a real corset, I thought it deserved to be here. Moving on, I have this one from Orchard Corset. They're probably my favorite brand for corsets because the silhouette of this one is perfect for me. It's waspy, but since I have a very short torso, it looks almost like a long line corset, so let me try it on and I'll be right back. This is what the corset looks like on me. I think it's the perfect underbust to waist to hips ratio, also the perfect length as you can probably tell and I'm just in love with it. The fabric is also very pretty. The only thing is that I went with a size 20 and I think I wanted to pick this sign because it's completely closed at the back and I wish there was like an inch in there so I could pull it a little tighter because it's it's tight, but it's not as tight as it could be, you know? I barely even, you know, I could go a lot tighter in here. I'm a little bit confused because the previous time I got a corset from them, I picked the exact same corset, but in a size 18. And this one is around 4 inches open at the back. I will insert a clip from the previous time I tried this on. And the one I'm wearing right now is completely closed. So since there's only a 2 inch difference between one and the other, I don't know what happened, maybe it's the fabric difference. The PVC one is a lot thicker, so maybe that's why it fits differently. But the thing is, I wish I had something in between, it would be the perfect size for me. So if I get anything else from them, I will probably go back to a size 18 because I wish I could close this one a tiny bit more. Another favorite brand of mine for corsets is Restyle, they're a Polish brand. So they're a lot more convenient for those of us in the European Union. I know it's probably not the best for people in the US, but their quality and their prices probably make it worth it. I have a ton of corsets from them, but I'm gonna start with these underbust. It's a mesh one, and it's really, really curvy, which means it has a very pronounced waist, which is what I love. So let's try this on. As you can see, there's some extra fabric in here and here. I don't know what happened. Maybe I lost weight. 
Maybe because I didn't sort it completely because I don't have help and I'm not strong enough to keep pulling. I don't know, this design used to fit me right, almost perfectly I would say, and I'm not feeling it so much right now. I feel like this doesn't look super flattering and it is almost completely closed. I did it more or less symmetrically. I can close this one completely unsymmetrically, but since I don't have help, for me I don't have a lot of strength and when I do like this, my arms hurt a lot, so it's gonna stay like that. Anyway, I think it's a very very beautiful corset, very curvy as you may be noticing right now. It's super affordable, don't let the price fool you, it's really good quality. I've had the same design, wait a second, the same one but in purple. I don't think this one is sold anymore, but the silhouette is the same, this is called the CU something. By the way, because I know I forgot to say this before, I will include the names of everything I try on today in the description box down below. So, you know, if I don't mention where I got something, or if I don't mention the name of the specific design, it will be down there, if I have it and if it's still available. Anyway, this is the exact same corset, but in purple, and you can see in this video that it fits me perfectly. It's like a dream come true. I don't know why the one I'm wearing right now doesn't fit me as well, because it's supposed to be the same, but, well, I still like it, but I'm not in love with it. Okay, this is weird. Even if it's technically the same design, this one fits me perfectly once more, just like the old purple one. This one is brocade, like the purple one. Maybe it's the difference in fabric, maybe there's a slight difference in that specific corset because they're labeled the same. I think it's the CU underbass corset from Restyle. So I don't get why the other one fits me wonky and this one is perfect. But I'm super happy with this one. This is perhaps my favorite corset because it's like, you know, something I can wear with literally anything I have. It's perfectly my style, it's very comfortable, it's very much my size, my shape and everything and it gives me a very big waist reduction. This is super important. When you're picking a corset, the size is important of course, but the waist design, the underbust to hips to waist ratio, that's the most important thing. Because I have corsets that are very, you know, blocky and they made me look much bigger than I am naturally without the corset. So if you're new to corsets, by the way, a disclaimer, I only wear corsets for fashion. I wear them for photos, I wear them when I go to parties. I never go to parties anymore, but I used to when I went out. And I don't waste train, I don't wear them at home, I don't do any of that. I'm way too lazy. I wish I had the patience and willpower to wear them on a daily basis because I think it would give me a much better figure, but it's just not for me. So although I've been interested in corsets for over 15 years, I don't waste train. If you have any questions about that, I'm sadly not going to be able to help you. In any case, this corset, just like the one I tried on at the beginning of the video from Orchard, is a 10 for me. I'm obsessed, I'm in love, and I really wish I had the chance to wear this out because I love the way it looks like on me. The last corset I'm going to show you from Restyle is this overbust corset. I rarely wear overbusts because I'm very short and they're typically too long for me. As is the case with this one, I can wear it but I can feel that it's way too long. So let's see what it looks like on me. What do we think of this one? I think it's very pretty. As you can see, it's way too high in here and it I don't know, it's not super comfortable after a while, but this is a me problem because I'm very short and especially I have a very short torso. As you may have noticed, by the way, waspies look like on me. They look like actual corsets and not as they do on almost everyone else. So yeah, I was already expecting that this one would be a little bit too long, although I was expecting it to be only noticeable here, which it is, and not so much in here. In any case, I love it. It's not a flaw of the corset. I know it was a long line corset, and I still wanted to get it because I love the design so much and I love her style corsets. So I'm happy with it, but I wish it was slightly shorter. By the way, I think this one was a size 20. And the other ones, the underbust corsets from Restyle, I think they are all a size 18. I could close it a little bit more, but since I have a lot of corsets to try on, I don't want to hurt my hands so much at the beginning of this video. So I left it slightly open. I know it is a little bit too wide in here. It is designed to look like that, 
but still I could close it a little bit more to make it fit me better but I didn't want to hurt myself so early on on this video and I'm really in love with it and for the price I think this is a must have here I have one of my all time favorite corsets this was designed for me by a brand the designer is called Natalia Sotomayor and she handmade all of these corsets and designs them herself it is really stunning I want you to see it right now it is black PVC with lots of studs and it's lined with a dark it's somewhere in between blue and purple I think it's more of purple satin it's really really beautiful it was made specifically for me and I love it so let's put this on gorgeous red I love it. The only problem is that because of the way I laced it, and this is totally my fault, I always forget to lace it properly. I cannot close it completely. <sighs> I know I need longer laces for this one because I have to skip some of the holes to make it go to the end. So I know it doesn't look as good as it should if I had laced it correctly. Don't hate me, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate in the comments, I always do when I talk about corsets. I know I'm not an expert, but I know quite a few things, and I know enough to know when I'm breaking the rules. So there's no need to point it out, I know it's not correctly laced, but that's all I can do at the moment. I really need to get new laces for this one, so that it will look as good as it should. But for now, this is gonna have to do. It's still a perfect corset, I love the design. The back wing kind of thing at the bottom is just... Stunning. When I saw this, this, this was more or less a surprise. I was in awe. I was completely in love. And I'm super grateful. I can't stress this enough. Thank you so much, Natalia, for sending me this because it's perfect. I'm super, super grateful and I wish I could wear it more often, but at least you guys get to see this. I really hope you can see the full thing. And this is the bag. Don't look at the laces right now. It's a mess, I know. Uh, yeah, really beautiful. This was made to match her, so I cannot give you any sales or any other info. If you like it, please contact her because she makes the most beautiful corsets. I will leave her Instagram down below in case you want to check out her other designs or you want to get something for yourself. Now I'm going to show you a corset from Charmian. I know they have their own website, but they also sell on AliExpress and probably on Amazon. And although most of their corsets are fashion corsets, this one is a real one and I was actually surprised because I didn't know what to expect when I picked this one and I was like, I mean, they gave it to me for free, disclaimer, some of the things I'm showing here were gifted to me and some others I bought myself. This is just me showing you my collection and telling you what I think about them. So yeah, this one was given to me for free. I thought, yeah, for the price it's not going to be good, but then I tried it on and it is really good. So let me show you. You're going to be the judge. Does it look good or not? Because for an AliExpress corset, I was expecting something much worse. I have another one from them, and if I can find the video, you will be seeing it right now. It's an overbust, and although that one is a fashion corset, it, the quality feels different from every other AliExpress corset, and it is much better. Now back to this one, I got it in a size extra small. I've gotta say, I find their size chart and measurements a little bit confusing because you don't really know if you are checking the actual measurements of the closed corset or the measurements you are supposed to have, your body measurements and depending on that you should pick this or that size for the corset I think they should add a little bit more information to their size chart as well as the measurements for the top part of the corset, the underbust and the bottom side of the corset, the hip measurements because that is essential if you want to find the right size for you for example, I have very wide hips compared to other people, so sometimes I have to size up for certain brands and you will see that in one of the brands I'm going to show you now. The right size for my waist is not going to be the right size for my hips and I wouldn't be able to fit in my waist size if I went with it because my hips are just too big for their corsets. So with this one, I didn't have a problem with the hips, they are quite wide, but the top part is a little bit too blocky like it does this and this so I think if they had added an extra inch or two in the top part it would be a much better fit for me but this is just for me and I believe there are people who will find this one a lot better so with all that in mind I think for an AliExpress corset this one was a very pleasant surprise I love the way it fits me 
I think it's very very beautiful, the brocade detail at the hips is stunning and the fabric feels really soft. The quality looks really good and I've used it quite a few times and it's still like new. We'll keep an eye on it but I've had it for quite a long time so I don't think it's gonna give you any problem. I may have gotten lucky but I have had good experiences with Charmian even if they're more of a low cost brand. I know I said I wasn't gonna include more fashion corsets in this video but you're gonna allow me one more exception because look at this. It, it is so beautiful. This is once more from Widow and the construction, the way it's built, the way it's lined, everything about it, it's it's so good. I am well aware that this is not a real corset but just wait and see. What do you think? It is gorgeous. This doesn't feel or look like something you would get from a fast fashion brand. The fabric is really really beautiful. I was so surprised because I didn't expect something so good. From, I mean, doll skill clothes are really good in my experience. I have a lot of things from them and every single time everything has been perfect. I have things from them and the AliExpress copy as well. And let me tell you, the copy looks like a cheap knockoff next to the original thing. The difference in price is truly justifiable and I would much rather wait for sales and get the real thing rather than get something cheaper from AliExpress that's not gonna look as good. Anyway, back to the corset, I love it. I have absolutely nothing bad to say about it. The only thing is that I got it a few years ago and it might not be in stock anymore. But if they ever restock it, let me tell you, it's one of the best things I have ever gotten from them. And now I'm moving on to the last brand of the day. I hope Organized and Thanks by Brands made it a little bit easier to follow, but in any case, I didn't really know how to organize things because most of these are under bass corsets anyway, so it was all the same category. So here's the first corset I'm going to show you from Borlesca. I included a bunch of them in my previous corset video. Go watch it if you haven't. And this is new. I got it not so long ago and it is really, really beautiful. The fabric looks really similar to the one I'm wearing right now, but in red instead of silver. This one, of course, it's a real corset. This one is steel boned, I believe. For the most part, their corsets are I'm not expert at telling if something is steel boned or plastic but this one looks a lot more sturdy than my fashion corset so I think it is. This is it on. I really like it but I think this one is a size 22 which is a huge difference from my usual 1820 from other brands that do a more curvy corset. This silhouette is a very blocky for me and even if I size down this is the shape of the corset just so you know if you're new to corsets and you want to find the perfect fit the silhouette is what it is and you cannot really change it with your body, you can alter it a little bit if you leave it slightly open at the top, slightly open at the bottom or slightly open at the center which is not really something I would recommend because you would end up damaging your corset in the long run but if you have to do this, go for it. I usually leave my burlesque corsets slightly open at the bottom but since I was a little bit in a hurry I didn't do it this time. It usually helps because my hips are way too big for this design. I tied it way too much and you can see a little indentation if you look closely. But since I'm not gonna wear it for a long time, I didn't really mind this time. I usually prefer to leave them like this at the back and that's not ideal. But for me it works because my hips are way too big for their designs. My favorite thing about Burlesque is they literally have anything you want. They have so many different designs that I have never been able to go through their entire catalog. The thing is that they mostly use the same silhouette for older corsets. Some are a little bit more straight and some are a little bit curvier. I seem to remember that this one was on the curvier side. You've probably noticed the difference between this one and the ones I tried on at the beginning of the video. They have a much more pronounced waist and that goes much better with my body type because I have naturally a very small waist and much bigger hips. But in any case, since I only wear corsets for fashion, as I said earlier, I don't really mind. It could look better if I could get a smaller waist with them, but it doesn't really matter. And since I'm not waist strained, it's not a problem for me. And I really love this design. It's one of my favorite corset designs because I love the vampy feel about it. It reminds me of the Indio character I created. So I really wish they would make smaller waists for their corsets so I could get snatched waist with this design. Since I'm not gonna try on again all the corsets I tried on in the first corset collection video, I urge you to go watch it once again. <laughs> I'm gonna show you here even if I don't try it on. This one is also from Borlesca. It's really really beautiful. It's faux leather with all these buckles and have you watched Gotham the TV show? 
because I seem to remember that Selena is wearing this exact corset at some point. I honestly got really excited because I really like Gotham and I've been obsessed with Batman lately to be honest. But moving on, I also tried on this one. It's a black and burgundy lace and taffeta corset. It's really pretty and it fits me more or less like the one I'm wearing right now but hopefully I can find a clip of it. Moving on to something new, I got this overbust corset from them recently. I still haven't had a chance to use it so it's completely close to here. So let's see what it looks like on me because I honestly haven't tried it on yet. What I can tell you before trying it on is that the laces are massive. I'm either going to have to cut this or replace this with something else and use these super long ones for the other corset that need longer ones. Also, if you're completely new to corsets, I strongly recommend watching a video on how to wear corsets, how to try them on for the first time. I think Orchard Corsets has a lovely YouTube channel where you can find a lot of info, but just in case, if you're feeling lazy, you should open your corset at the back as much as you can before trying it on because otherwise if you force it when you close the front basque, you might damage it. So make sure to open it at the back before you put it on and before you take it off. I haven't closed it as much as I could or should, but my hands are begging me to stop, so I just stopped at the point where it was decent looking. I'm honestly surprised, I think it suits me really well. Of course, I don't feel any pressure at all in this area. It's slightly open, but even then, I know even if I keep closing it, I'm not gonna get much reduction here. But for a fashion corset, I know this is more like a real corset because most of their corsets are steel bound. I'm gonna wear it as a fashion thing and I don't mind so much. I think it gives me a really, really beautiful body and since this one is not as long as the one from Vrestal that I tried on at the beginning of the video, it doesn't bother me as much. Now the thing is, I'm wearing a dress and a bra underneath. I don't think I could wear it on its own because it's a little bit big in here. In any case, maybe past this would help if I want to wear it without anything underneath, but I would personally feel much safer with a bra. Now let's see the back and I really hope I don't make a mess. Don't yell at me if I did. I think it looks pretty okay or at least acceptable. And this time I did the trick where I left the bottom part slightly open so it would give me more of an hourglass shape. I know this is not recommended. Again, don't yell at me, I know. But if it works for me, and again, I'm only gonna wear this as a top and not as a waist trainer, I think it's okay. Here we have another one. I feel like this is slightly shorter than everything I've tried on for Ulaska today and for that reason, I think it fits me a little bit better because my main problem is that they're too small in here. Like, my ass goes in the way and makes all the corsets feel really small. But since this one ends right above my ass, I think it suits me a little bit better. I think as a fashion item, it looks really good. So of course, as everything from this brand, not gonna give you a big waist reduction unless you're reducing your whole torso, in which case you probably can do that with this. But if you specifically want to target your waist, this is not really the brand to do that. But if what you want is a very beautiful thing, then as you have seen, they have so many different designs that you can literally find anything you like in their store. I think the way this one closes makes it stand out from everything else I have. Unfortunately, I'm not such a big fan of gold. I would much rather wear pink I think you know I like pink a lot, even if I don't usually wear pink. I'd much rather wear that than gold. It's really not my thing. It's a very beautiful corset, so I wish it was in a different color scheme. But I still like it, and I think it gives me the chance to change a little bit from my usual style. And now, last but not least, we are done with corsets, but I have something else you have to see. And I think it's fit in here. I have this stunning corset dress. I was leaving my favorite thing for the end of the video. I'm completely in love with this. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this a million times already. I love it. I think it's super flattering. It's one of my favorite things. It's also from Borlesca. And surprisingly, this one has a much more pronounced difference between the waist and the hips. It's so not that the waist is super small, but the hips are really, really big, if you can tell. Of course, this is super big to try it on here, so I'm gonna insert much better clips from outdoors. I think I'm gonna be doing it justice if I tried it on here. But I still want you to see 
how beautiful everything is. The silver brocade is something I'm in love with. I've wanted this dress for years and I finally have it. I want to give you advice on the sizes for this one. I got this one in a size 22. I usually would have picked a 20. But the thing is that you cannot open it to put it on. And you can only open this part in here. So even if it has the lace and a zipper in here, it's still something you can open at the front. It makes it a little bit uncomfortable to put it on and take it off. I think it's completely worth it because it's one of the most beautiful things I have. But still, I think sizing up for this one was the right choice because I can close it completely at the back and it looks perfect. It doesn't look too big or anything. The sides, by the way, are a little bit stretchy, so you need to think of this as a corset, more like a dress, a regular dress. It is, of course, still boned. It's really heavy. The fabric is really good and all of that. It feels like a corset at some points, but the sides are stretchy, so it's not aimed to reduce your waist or your measurements. If you get it with that intention, it's going to be really uncomfortable to put it on. And then you're gonna be pulling a lot from the sides because they are stretchy and you might end up breaking it. I don't think it's super resistant in terms of, you know, pulling a lot from the laces and all that because the sides are stretchy once more <laughs> and you might damage it if you pull too hard. So this one suits my body perfectly. I of course have to close it completely, which is not a problem. I prefer to close things completely rather than getting a very big gap at the back. It comes with a big modesty panel, but still, I, I probably don't need to use it because I can close it completely, but I prefer not to, you know, show a lot of this. And this way, if I make a mess when I'm tying it, because modesty panels are my enemy, I hate them, there's no way I can keep them straight with my nails. And if I attempt to do it, I might break them, and it's not something I'm willing to risk. So yeah, I hate modesty panels. and. Closing it completely is not a problem because then I don't have to worry about this. This dress is genuinely one of my favorite things and I wish I could keep wearing it for photos all the time because I think you guys also like it because every time I post something with it, the likes are way higher than with most other things. So yeah, I think we all love this dress and I think I'm extremely lucky to have it finally because I've been wanting it for years and I finally got it. I think that was everything for today. I do have more corsets but they are either fashion corsets or they are things I tried on in my previous video. I think if you liked this one you would probably love the other one because I tried on all the corsets I had at that time and I didn't really feel like trying on things that I already showed you here for those of you who were here a few years back. Probably not many of you. But anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also click the notifications button because I believe most of you are not even being shown that I'm uploading new videos. So if you like my content, I would strongly recommend clicking there. And I really hope I see you in the next video. Bye!